What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all have a fabulous hump day, Wednesday, okay, for y'all. We are halfway through the week, y'all. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, whoa. Now, let's see. Let's dive in and see what messages come out for uh, Scorpios. What's the tea? What's going on with Scorpios, please, spirit? What is going on with Scorpios? What is going on with Scorpios? Let's see. What's going on with Scorpios? Here we go. My nose is starting to itch. Here we go. We got dreams coming out uh, for you. Number three, dreams. Okay. So some of y'all could be receiving some downloads, spiritual downloads, something like that here. Somebody had a dream of doing something, but they might have self-sabotaged something here, okay? Because you got number two, self-sabotage and patience. So somebody could have been, you know, trying to rush into something. They might have needed to be patient about something, procrastination, patience, yeah, and alchemy. Somebody could have been using magic to get what they wanted type of energy. Woo! Somebody could have sabotaged themselves, sabotaged a future, some sort of healing that they wanted to have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Let's see. What is this about for Scorpios? This what's the tea energy? What is this what's the tea energy for Scorpios? Please, please give me one one card. What's going on with Scorpios? What's the tea energy? What is the tea for Scorpios? Please, spirit. What's the tea? Scorpios. What's the tea for Scorpios? What is the tea for Scorpios? That is too many. I'm not taking those. One card, please. What's the tea for Scorpios? What's going on with Scorpios energy? Whoa. I'm going to take the one that flipped over. All right. Warning. The world awaits you. Number 40. Okay. So waking up. So yeah, a lot of y'all about to receive some downloads here. Princess, you can be your own knight. Nostalgia. Focus on here and now. Clover, release your guilt. Okay. This is about staying in the present. Release your guilt on things here. Not to live in the past. Not to dwindle in the past. You know. Um, You can always rewrite the story. Villain energy is here as well. So this is a new day. Okay. It's a new day. It's a new time. Let's see. Let's read the book on this one here. Number 40. My lips still dry. All right, it says, you've been alive, sure. You've been uh, waking up, doing what you need to get through your day, going back to sleep. Repeat, have you been living, though, truly living? I think you need to hear this now more than ever. Your life is incredibly precious. Out there, the world awaits you. Now is the time to make good moments and learn to treasure them as they come. Okay, so yeah, again, some of y'all... Y'all may have some downloads coming in, spiritual downloads. Others of y'all, this is about making memories. I keep feeling like I'm seeing somebody out of the corner of my eye, but there's nothing there. Okay. Um, some of y'all need to make new memories. Like, have some fun. Get out the house. Enjoy yourself a little bit here. You know, I know you probably work a lot, work all day type of energy, but... It's like somebody only has fun in their dreams. Or they're dreaming about having fun or dreaming about having a good day. But, you know, sometimes you just got to take the, the day by the horns, you know. Take the bull by the horns and, and demand yourself to have a good day. Like, I'm going to block out any negativity. I'm not going to let this happen, you know. <sighs> Type of energy. Let's see. What's going on? What's the morning with the dreams card? What is this about? Emotional abuse. Okay. And preparing for what's to come. This is why somebody's been in a funk. Somebody has been in a funk here. Some of some y'all could have went through, you know, an emotional situation here that really kind of either shattered your dreams or just made you feel like nothing was possible. Hmm. This could keep you held back, but somebody's like... You know, sometimes when we go through hard things and, and stuff like that. And I'm definitely not the one here to tell somebody how to heal or how to overcome situations. But I've went through things in my past as well. That's how I'm here today. You know, like some shit. Okay. Some, a lot of shit. Emotional abuse. You know. Physical, sexual type of energy abuse. Okay. 
And, you know, if we keep living in those energies and we keep replaying those energies, which some is hard. Yeah, it's hard to forget that stuff. But when you've went through that stuff, if you allow that to overtake you or just take that over, you'll never find that glimpse of hope. You'll never find that happiness. So somebody needs to, like, release something or someone here. Somebody needs to do, like, a cleanse. Somebody needs a spark back in their life. Maybe you need to, like, go talk to somebody. Some of y'all may need to try counseling. Um, some of y'all, it's, it's just the fact, childhood fears. Someone is tra traumatized by their childhood and power hungry. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that's around you that's causing you to feel this way. Like this is a very like overly aggressive, power hungry type of energy. Like somebody who wants control. So the way that they keep control is by emotionally abusing you in some sort of way like putting you down making you feel like you're not enough like this is the type of person that be like well that outfit makes you look fat or you look too skinny in that outfit or um you get on my nerves that's smacking i don't know something like that somebody's very uh like somebody didn't want you to wake up to this some of y'all could be dealing with uh somebody that some of y'all it's like another per like it's the same sex some of y'all are in a same-sex relationship for one, and it looks like it's not healthy. This person uh, abuses you and takes advantage of you sexually to fuck with your head, okay? Others of you, this could be somebody that's in competition with you in some sort of way, and they could, like, say negative shit to try to keep you down because you could be, you know, you're trying to vibe high, you're trying to feel good about yourself, and they want you to feel insecure in some sort of way. What's morning with dreams? Yeah. Hacked, gamble, take a risk here. Somebody wants you to feel revengeful, forced injustice, she devil. This is somebody, this is somebody who's not happy. I don't know who this energy is. This is a not happy energy, honey. Very malicious, very spiteful type of person, very revengeful. This is like somebody say you break away from them and then you start being happy, you start living your life. This person will come at you, honey, and like try to tear you down to knock you, knock you off your high horse. This is somebody you could be, you know, you could have had past life karma with and you're trying to clear that karma out with this person. This is a very stubborn end of look, yeah, stubborn. There's this person is stuck in their ways and dangerous karmic ties. This is somebody you could have had a karmic relationship with, or this could have been a person that they were attached to that they had a karmic relationship with. Somebody that's in your family, mother figure, father figure, you know, ex. I don't know. Who child. It's like a virus, like they latch on and then it just it spreads like a wildfire, like a wildfire. Uh, guards up came out. It keeps wanting to come out. Guards up. This person guard is always up. Some of y'all need to keep yourself guarded here from this person. Temperamental. Someone doesn't want to be seen. Someone needs to take care of the help. This is somebody who, who needs some help. I don't know. This is not a healthy-minded individual here. This is somebody who, like, flips their script or flips their shit. Hot mess. Always got something going on. Ego. I mean, their ego is allowing them to, like, get them in some things that they don't need to be in. Somebody really needs to focus on themselves here. And somebody probably told this person that, too. Like, someone needs to go... Go get evaluated or like, you know, just focus on you, focus on loving on you, making yourself happy here. But someone is just unhappy. Like they're just, yeah, this energy, I don't like it. Like it's, it's like a, this is like a walking virus, destructive type of person. Like this is the type of person that sees everybody else happy and they don't want every. if they're miserable, they want everybody else to be miserable. So they go around and they like project their negative toxic energy onto other people. Okay, that's what this is. Somebody needs to be guarded. Be careful taking a risk or a gamble with this person because I, I, I just don't feel like it's going to turn out good like at all. Somebody may be deciding to take a risk on themselves instead. And you may, you know, the moment you leave or move away from this person, you start waking up feeling better immediately. Like, what's going on? Investigating family time. Yeah, this this could be somebody you had a family with or that you were going to bring into the family here. Some, some of y'all need to do a background check on, on somebody before you start dating them. 
like who who are they connected to who who's their family what are their family what's their family like you know what they got going on in their life honey because somebody just somebody is like Somebody need to do a little further investigating before they start dating somebody because somebody is not well. Just want to check yourself. Yeah, honey. Outdated in their feels. This is somebody that could have got with a person and like they didn't do the proper background work or they didn't get to know this person the way they should. And now this person has like went through some type of emotional abuse with this person or... Ooh, my side itching, y'all. I don't know. This is not good. Like somebody should have kept themselves guarded from this person or blocked this person out. What's going on? Ooh, game over. Yes. Crush. This could have been somebody that somebody had a crush on. Or was crushing on. Ugh. We got a hater. We got promiscuous, sleeps around, a hoe, free for all, sleeps with your man. And then we got fake friends. And then recording, announcement, expression, revealing here. Somebody about to find out that somebody is not who they appear to be. Like if, And I feel like if they would have just investigated just a little more, or they would have looked this person up or got some type of credentials on this person, maybe, I don't know. They could have seen. Somebody about to find out that somebody been around a fake friend and somebody around them is fake. This person could be um, revealing some information that they have, like uh, text messages or pictures, which I hope not, God forbid. Uh, this could be somebody, you know, very promiscuous energy, but they hate for the other person to be with another person type of energy. I don't know. This is not... This is not looking healthy at all. This is like this person could have a crush on somebody else or they like somebody else. And somebody's like, no, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that you want to date somebody else. I don't want to hear that this is over. That, honey, this shit is toxic as hell. This is like somebody got away from another person was like, honey, this, I can't do this. Anymore. You're messing with my energy. You're messing with me. You, I, I'm not happy around you. Like, something about you doesn't make me happy. And so this person could be trying to emotionally manipulate and abuse somebody to get them to stay with them. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? Big spirit. Screenshot. Look. I'm t look. Looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. Somebody has evidence here. And somebody's about to reveal that evidence. It's about to come out. That somebody's been emotionally abusive. Maybe they talk down on this person, talk shit about this person, made this person feel less than, you know, they really fuck with them emotionally in some sort of way. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? Yeah, somebody's stuck in their head about it here. Listen, if you reveal something you're not supposed to be revealing, revealing you will get locked up, especially if you put in like somebody's pictures and shit like that out there that they don't they didn't advise you to put out somebody gonna get arrested somebody gonna be in jail honey force to force this thing on you somebody was very forceful very controlling somebody could have like hung it over somebody's head like blackmail type of energy oh child what's going on somebody's trying to ignore this they just it's like they they want to get away from this it's drama like it's like it's too much going on. It's chaotic. It's drama. It's somebody fighting. Somebody always in somebody else's phone. Somebody feels stuck. What's going on? Yeah, somebody feel like they waiting around here. Somebody could be very emotionally detached here. Dirty offer. This is just all just negative energy. What's going on? Unanswered. And somebody don't want it no more. Somebody like, fuck this. Okay, thank you. Yes, into you, good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. Somebody would rather be single and like waking up happy and like just like, oh my gosh, this is a fresh, this is like a fresh glass of orange juice, you know, like, oh God, I'm just so away from that. Somebody could have felt like they was living in a nightmare and their dream is to be single and happy and away from this energy here. Somebody's just not interested in this person anymore. Somebody could be ignoring this person. This person, is, it's like, I'm, I'm feeling like this person's getting angry. Because they're getting 
they're, they're getting ignored. This person was not who they thought they were. Wolf in sheep's clothing, threatening, intimidated, threatened, and bothered here. Love triangle. This could have had to do with a third party dynamic, honey. This could have been your person, or this could have been the third party, or I don't know. It, it may not even be your person. It could be somebody in your family. There's a third party here involved that is that feels threatened and feels bothered by you or somebody in some sort of way here. And they come off as this very nice, loving, caring, wish fulfillment, dream come true person, and they are not. This person is not. They're they're quite evil. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, boss bitch. Runs on business, stable, busy, multifaceted. Somebody's like a boss bitch energy for real here. Dust it off. And somebody's like, honey, baby, I, I vibrate too half of this. Okay. You're not going to put me in no third party? <laughs> no, we're not. We're not doing that. Okay. I'm going to keep it moving. And this could make somebody mad. Somebody could have did this to like threaten somebody or to like intimidate somebody. Like, yeah, I can be with somebody else. And somebody was like, honey, I'm not even into that. Okay. I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to drink my morning coffee. I'm going to live my best life. Y'all can have that. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? Fake smile. Somebody out here pretending like they happy and they not. Yeah, somebody done got blocked. What's going on? Ooh, child. Kissing ass wanted to come out, but it's coming in reverse here. So, yeah, somebody not. Yeah, creativity money. Somebody looks at somebody as a user. <laughs> looks at somebody as a user. Who are these cards? Okay. But toxic, drug addiction, toxicities, drinking, alcoholic, hustling, dr uh, dirty offer. Somebody did all of this just to get an offer that wasn't even like legit or, yeah, honey, caught a case player. This is somebody that's not even dependable. This is somebody that sleeps around. They could have an STD for some of y'all or they need to go get themselves checked here. Or somebody finding out that somebody been sleeping around with somebody. Yeah, somebody stuck in their head here causing drama fighting, arguing, dirt digging, trying to look up information on somebody, cyber bully, this part, and then they bullying somebody, honey, this is too fuck. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this, <laughs> I'm not gonna do this, this is too much, because it's like, somebody's that fucked up in the head, over some type of toxic, no good, Hustling, half-ass, dirty, offered-ass, busted, disgusted-ass person. And there's somebody here that's just like, peace, love, you know, and happiness here. Honey, if you still attached to this energy, just break away and watch how happy you will be once you break away from this person. Because that's what it looks like. Somebody got somebody, like, in their head, fucked up. And if this is blackmail, you gonna be in trouble. You cannot blackmail somebody to stay with you and they're not happy. I don't understand. What's going on? Somebody got sex buddies, a, a fuck buddy on the side, bankrupt, they ain't got no money. They're not getting nothing out of this here. No relationship, no nothing. Once you black, once you, once you black, once you back, somebody wants somebody else back. Like somebody want to get back with somebody. They willing to be like a fuck buddy, side buddy, honey, cock block, and somebody blocking this person obsessive lover this could be somebody want to come back to somebody and just be a friends with benefits but somebody's like no you're too toxic you use me for money you're not karmic friends you're not even trustworthy baby you will stab me in the back i don't know confused jackpot honey talking shit it's like somebody's confused. Maybe they can't focus on their money or they confused if this person has money or if this person is their wish fulfillment. Excuse me. This is a this is a karmic toxic situation here. Somebody's obsessed with another person, being with another person. Like, I'm telling you, this is a person that will like blackmail somebody like you're not fucking going anywhere. You're going to be with me type of energy. Honey, I'm about to get off this because this none exhausted me. This was, this was toxic. Anyway, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I don't know who this is in your energy, but whoever this is, baby, go go get some help. Go heal. 
Okay, go heal, go get some help. I don't know, go focus on your health, maybe, you know, work out something, honey. When I was going through my depression and stuff like that, you know, uh, I went and worked out. I went to work out and that shit changed my life. Like it really did. Okay. So maybe you need to get some counseling or something like that. I don't know. But this ain't healthy. You can't force somebody to be with you by blackmailing them and shit like that. And then this person pr only pretending to be happy. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Woo. Celie. Yeah. I miss you. Okay. Come purple. All right. I'm gone. All right. This is what I got for you. <laughs> I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye guys.